Hello, it uh, has been a few days. Um, if you caught my postcom blues, uh, you know there have been some issues with my uh, work. And um, I'm delighted to tell you that those issues have resolved themselves. Um, that is to say, I went at 6 o'clock yesterday morning and they sacked me. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> hmm. I may have a chest infection, just, just letting you know. I haven't been to the doctors, because why would you? Uh, so yeah, I, I am no longer employed. Slightly worrying, but you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But let's uh, ignore all that nonsense, and we'll get on to the slightly more interesting stuff of plastic. <clears throat> this is Transformers Classics. I think they called it Tankor, but let's be honest, it's Octane. And boy howdy, is it Octane. Let's uh, try and get the light in a little bit better. I don't know. <clears throat> so it's a lot more... Uh, I've just dropped the bombshell that I'm unemployed and therefore going to be skinned. Yay! No. So, this is... A long cab section with smokestacks that are the you know the guns from the robot mode, but you know kind of work. They've got the down pieces, which would be the supports for the trailer if you disconnected it, which is nice. This section here and the wheels, and a little bit gappy from the back. Looks right from the top. Looks kind of nice from the front. Paint look, doesn't look great. I mean, it might look alright to you guys. But, um, mm. it's not the best mode I've ever seen, but I've always been a fan of Octane. See, I keep second guessing myself. Mega Octane was the onslaught from the Ruination set, so this is Octane. It's just, I keep second guessing myself, it's fine. But I've always been a fan of Octane. I thought he was cool, I thought he was, uh, he, he was a proper Decepticon. He was self-centered, and he was quite happy to sort of go, yep, yeah, no, see ya, and go off and try and do his own thing. Didn't he take over a small, like, um, <laughs> Middle Middle Eastern country at one point? He became, like, their king or something. Awesome. Ah, uh, good old Octane. <clears throat> but, yeah, he's this, and uh, it doesn't really roll. The wheels work, it's just there's stuff underneath, and it just doesn't quite want to... Quite want to play ball, but fortunately, he's not relying simply on his tr uh, his a uh, tanker trailer mode. And I'm trying to remember how to transform him. But we're going to pop these off. Going to see what he looks like without them. Not much different. You can still plug them in back here if you want, but I quite like using them as the smokestacks. It's a personal preference. Okay. Now, how do we transform this again? <laughs> uh, right, so what we've got to do is get... See this pink tab that's showing slightly through there? We've got to try and disconnect that. There we go. And then, moving all of this on that black piece there. It's a big hinge. We've got to bring all this down. <coughs> and to there. Ooh. So let's turn it around, do the same thing, disconnect from there, and then on that black bit there, all the way down, and then press these two pieces together. Can you tell what it is yet? No. Um, then we need to get these two pieces and just fold them out to the side. Yep. Quite stiff. Uh, Blue's just behave, will you? These bits. Doesn't make any difference, but I don't like these bits being wonky. They they will stay wonky and it won't make any difference. I just don't like the look of it. Uh, no, it's fine. And um, that folds up. So from where it was there in the trailer mode, falls down to there. Huzzah. 
There, it's done. What are you now? <coughs> Pardon me. Now you got to split the front of the cab. Let's bring it out slightly. And there are like, little tabs in there that go into these pieces here. At which point you bring this down on a big hinge in there. It's basically that silver screw there. This piece inside folds down. When you get to about here somewhere, you actually want to turn these around on that swivel there. And the same on that one. Turn around. Push them together. Okay. And then on this screw, on each side, there's a hinge, and you rotate that out. So that the front of the cab, split in half, is now facing, well, when you bring this down, straight down. Make sure that's down properly and wherever you want it to go. At which point you fold out these two pieces. Which, to be honest, this actually has a panel which comes up and fills in that gap. This piece here. Which I didn't notice up until now, but is a really nice touch. Well played. And then you bring down this section, and it is actually geared together. So you bring one, you bring both down. <coughs> and now it's kind of plain of some variety. And that isn't bad. That isn't bad at all. You know, it's a, a little bit gappy, it's not, you know. And this panel is just... Uh, but this panel is kind of necessary for the uh, the tanker mode. Here you can pop it off. This is kind of like a, a hinge without a pin, which goes into this section here. It just sort of friction grips in. You can pop it off, and you can have a plane without it. It does look a little bit malnourished in the middle, you know, like a, a fish that... You know in cartoons when people eat the middle out of a fish and just leave the head and the tail? Kind of looks a little bit like that, so... We'll pop it back on for now. There you go. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> and the guns. Basically need to peg under the wings there for now. I don't think there's anywhere else on this mode. I'll double check in a second, but I don't think there is. There we go, put that there. Put that there. And it's not bad, I mean it's got all the propellers and stuff that turn. There are wheels in this uh, section here. So it's kind of strange that the plane mode wheels better than the tanker mode, but it's fine. And it just looks a bit weird at the back here. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Doesn't look bad. Okay. So. <coughs> I'm still alive. <coughs> Hmm. Anyway. Hi. Ah, oh, dear. Right, so, from here we're going to go to the robot mode. So first thing we're going to do is pop off the guns. <coughs> he said, try not to breathe too sharply in case it sets off another coughing fit. <sighs> Ooh. Right. Do that. Pop off this section here. Again, I've just shown you how it connects. <coughs> And now it's quite it's quite humdrum, really. It's quite straightforward. We need to extend this. Can you work out how it transforms yet, kids? So extend this, fold in the fins, fold it back up, like you're going back into the lorry mode, including split, and rotate around. So for lorry mode, you'd be sticking this back together. Well, obviously, we we'll turn them into legs, so we don't do that. What we do do is what we do 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 is we push this piece here and flip out the toe. So just at the top here, just push that and flip out the toes. Those are the legs. Awesome. <coughs> Let's bring this up a bit. 
we'll fold the wings back for now. Yay! And we'll split the nose cone. No. We'll fold these bits forward first. <sighs> They're way too tight for what they are. Now we'll split the nose cone. It will split. Come on. Right, okay. And now we need to fold yeah. Fold these out to the side for now. Uh, without doing the big angled hinge there like you would back towards the tanker mode. And then you get this with the two panels I've just folded up, slide them up as far as they go, and then fold them out and they'll actually go over these end pieces and lock into place. It slides up to reveal the head. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <coughs> now for the arms, you've got a choice. The main part is you untab the arm, it sort of folds over on the top there, and then I'll basically I'll do both versions for you. You can see on each side. So you have arm and shoulder configuration A, or you can have <coughs> arm and shoulder configuration B, A and B. And it's down to your personal preference. I know there's some people who like that. I personally prefer this. Now the reason I prefer this is, and it's a bit of a silly reason, is because eventually you're going to bring the wings. And again, I like to leave them like this, but you can, due to the hinges, fold them up like that. And so sort of split them and have them whichever way you want. And although there's a ball joint here for the arm, that's tighter than this one here. So you're going to end up just mashing the shoulder against the wings. Which isn't my personal preference. So we give him a more Gundam-esque shoulder pads, splay them out to the sides. And I think that just looks a little bit more dynamic, a little more badass, and if they do turn, they're not automatically smashing into the wings. Yay! <coughs> Weapons! He's got two double pistol things. Sort of really mini shotgun-esque things. And you can put them in each hand. You can. There you go. And that's kind of cool. You can double stack them a la Thunderwing. <coughs> and that's a bit silly, but it's possible. And you can also... You can still store them on the wings, if you like, but again, you can just store them on the sides of the legs. Why not? There you go. Gun storage! Now, I must admit now, I'm not a massive fan of the hands. I mean, they're moulded in there, but that's a bit... Uh... It's a little too 1980s, you know? Just a, li just a little. It's, a it's on the cusp, but just a little. <coughs> Ow. Ah. Then we come to this thing. Which, there's this piece here, which you can use as a peg, even though it's kind of squared off. And you can put it in the hand. Yeah, yay, it's a shield. Because everyone points their shield like that. But then you can also split it, uh, and it sort of hinges on these two round pieces right here, when it decides to play ball. Come on, there we go. You can split it, and it becomes like a capture claw. Woo! It's, it's not good. It's not a good thing to have. But I'm not aware of a good place to store it, because... Like, I'm sure I've seen people do something where they, like, kind of plug it into the back or something. But there isn't somewhere. I mean, you could shove it back together. Come on. 
show it back together and then try and plug it back onto the place where it goes for the vehicle mounts. But that's that's just that's worse than the prime armor, really, isn't it? I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. <clears throat> if anyone knows a good place to store it, because you can't even hold on to that bit, can you? No, it's it's too big for the hands. This piece is too wide to go into the hands, so I don't. It's I suppose if you were so inclined. It's a skateboard. If if you're desperate for you know uses for it. I don't know. I kinda like him. He's he's definitely got drawbacks. I mean like the shoulders are quite finicky. Uh once you've got your preference, I mean this is mine, fine. The wings, I don't know why they fold forward. They don't need to do it in any of the transformations, and you're not gonna have him like that. You're not going to have him like that, and any way in between just kind of looks a bit dopey, unless you've got him like part angled. But then, because of the way you've got to have the shoulders, you can't even see him, so what's the point? You just straighten him up and call it a day. Yeah, there you go, he's got wings. I don't, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what they were going with, I'll be honest, I don't know. Kind of like you can get sort of vague flapping action. Simple gearing system, didn't need to be there, I don't know. But he's kind of cool, he's got some reasonable articulation stuff, he's fine. Uh, no waste because of the transformation, that's fine. One thing that does slightly nerk me, nerk me, nark me, annoy me slightly. The head seems slightly sunken, and I've tried my best, and that's as high up as it goes, and it doesn't pop anymore. The head just seems like it's just slightly embedded, and I wish it wasn't. But it's fine. So, yeah, I, I don't know why this was kind of one of those disliked figures. Maybe people just got hung up on the shoulders and, you know, the hands. But it's fine. I mean, the truck mode is, you know, fine. The plane mode's pretty good. And the robot mode, it at least looks alright. I, I quite like this. I haven't done any size comparisons, but I don't care. Eh. So yeah, uh, I'm going to call it a day there. <sighs> so, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, I shall see all of you in the next one. Bye everybody!